What's your uh, one international sale for Punchline? Can we have to uh, the joke here. Uh, awesome music. I just wonder how it feels when uh, you get that call saying somebody wants to use your music for a soundtrack. Is we never cool. got we never gotten that call. It was with Bill and Ted. Oh, that was before. Yeah, before we. Oh. Yeah. oh. No, no, that's amazing. Now we usually ask how much. <laughs> no, I'll tell you, you know, at the time when we, when we first started out, we didn't even really know what that was about. And it was, it's amazing, it was actually more amazing later on. To kind of, at the time, you know, you're just trying to conquer the world, you want to get out there, it's, it's in a film. But really, you're, you're focused on getting on a tour, and, you know, taking over the planet. But now when we see it, how cool it was back then. You know, it was Keanu Reeves before he was Keanu Reeves, yeah. before The Matrix. You know, I remember being excited that Mike Myers at the time's new movie was The Guru. And uh, yeah. we're like, oh, they're going to parody more than words. It's going to be great. We saw it before it came out. And it was, the movie bombed. Bombed? Why? Because we were on the fucking phone. <laughs> what is your name? Where are you from? Hi, um, my name's Angela. I'm from Nottingham, uh, England. Um, I'd just wanted to know what your new influences were. I know Bruno, you've been playing with Rihanna, but um, I know that you recently met Ed Sheeran and he played Cupid's Dead, I believe. Yeah, that was that was crazy. We were, you know, the, the, one of the cool perks about you know being part of any Grammy show is that you just you're out there, and uh, the biggest surprise is that there's a lot of new artists like Ed Sheeran, and and, uh, and I remember even like meeting John Mayer and people backstage at Aerosmith Kiss, and you never know what they listen to, and they come up to you and they say, "Yeah, man, we had poster view in your room," and and I thought Ed Sheeran being the singer songwriter that he is, you know, playing you know broke broke in the acoustic world. I wanted to go meet him because I'm a fan, and he ended up coming up to me and uh, to meet me. And I thought, oh, this is super cool. And I thought, hey, you know, he said the second song he had ever learned. I don't know why it wasn't the first. I was a little disappointed. Like, Did he tell you the first? No, he didn't. Yeah, but uh, he, he said, I thought, okay, you know, I, I asked. He said he asked his uh, uh, guitar teacher to teach him the song, and I was waiting for it more than words and more than words. And he said, Cupid's dead, and I thought, I actually said no. Fucking way. And I said, and he goes, because I thought, I actually said, I don't think you could even play that song. I mean, like, and he went up on stage, stopped his rehearsal, and he goes, I'll prove it to you. And he went up and he plugged in, told John Mayer to shut the fuck up because he was playing too many, too many notes. And he played the song. And that was like, it's amazing when you find out the, the people that you end up admiring, because we're always still fans of everybody that's coming out. And uh, that, was, that was kind of a thrill. And it was very fun. 